G'day and welcome back to Steve's Tesla. I've arranged with the Tesla Service Center to install the Tesla Model Y tow package and the trailer mode software. This was easily organized through the Tesla app. It couldn't be done on site, so I had to travel to Miranda. Now I'm filming this in my garage, which is also home to Steve Spikes, my other YouTube channel. You might like to have a look at it. The primary purpose of getting the tow bar for the Tesla Model Y is to be able to carry our e-bikes on our bike rack. And I've purchased a Yakima Fold Click 2. So there will be a separate video just demonstrating how this operates. But this video covers the Tesla Model Y tow package installation process. I'm at the Tesla Service Centre in Miranda, New South Wales. We're getting the tow bar accessory fitted today with the Tesla tow package for the Model Y. I noticed they had an early Model 3 chassis on display and it's probably the one they used to have in the Martin Place store some years ago. When you look closely it's actually a left-hand drive model and it was obviously manufactured prior to the introduction of the front and rear giga castings. The Tesla team were kind enough to do the installation in the morning so by midday the job was done. The tow package includes the receiver and the software but not the actual hitch or the tow ball itself. So I went to Repco nearby and picked up what I needed. When I got home I realised it didn't include the hitch pin so I rattled through my box of nuts and bolts hoping to find something suitable but you really need to have a high tensile steel hitch pin for this purpose. So this meant another trip to the local Repco to pick up a hitch pin. Now I wanted a lockable device obviously so the hitch can't be removed but when I tried them out at the store, I realized that the way Tesla have installed the hitch means that the pin device is actually inside the bodywork of the car. And that just doesn't give you any access to get in there with a key for the lockable option. So I had to return the lockable one to the store and work with the unlockable hitch pin. Now it's possible to install the hitch one of two ways. As I'm showing here, probably upside down and the preferred option is to have the hitch so that the plate acts as a barrier to the trailer bashing into the back of the car. The hitch pin is then inserted into the tongue of the hitch and using the split pin on the other side it's locked in place. It would have been preferable to use a lockable pin, but it's just not accessible with a key being tucked inside that bodywork. Removing the tow hitch is obviously just the reverse of the same operation. The tow ball can now be mounted to the hitch, and it really needs to be wound on as tight as you possibly can do it. As soon as the bike rack was attached and the electrical connector plugged in, the Tesla software switched to trailer mode and the blue icon appeared on the screen. So what is trailer mode anyway? You go into pedals and steering to find trailer mode and then you can manually switch it on or it will automatically switch on when you connect a trailer to the electrical connection. If you go to information it tells you that trailer mode disables or restricts certain vehicle functions including some of the driver assistance features and do not enter trailer mode when not actually towing a trailer. Refer to the owner's manual for more information. So let's have a look. It's obviously important not to exceed the maximum load that the Tesla is rated for 
which is actually 750 kilograms towing capacity if it's an unbraked trailer, or 1600 kilograms if the trailer has brakes. The owner's manual does describe the guidelines for towing, and that's effectively a checklist of things to be aware of before you head off towing a trailer load. The trailer mode icon has three different colours. Blue, it's active and everything's okay. Yellow, the Model Y has detected a trailer but it's not properly connected. And red, of course, is an alert that there's some problem. When you've finished your journey, you can of course remove the tow hitch by taking out the pin. And Tesla will have retained the cover for you so you can snap that back into place and completely conceal the fact that you have a hitch. That gives it a neat final finish. So the big final question is what does the Tesla Model Y tow package cost? Well here in Australia it's $1,970 including taxes and installation. Thanks for watching. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.